All right, guys. So uh, Ranger Seven Nine here, and here's what we got. We got this little conundrum of an issue here. I'm uh, trying to do 3D modeling, and hence the word trying, because I'm not an expert by any means at all. Okay, but we need we do need some new vehicles in DCS world that are modern, a little modern, and uh, maybe I can help out with that if it's not too difficult. I'm at the point now where I've tried for days to get certain arguments to work for animations. Some do, some don't. It's frustrating, I know, but um, I'm trying to get this shit to work. All right, so I got a Humvee here with a Crow system, 50 cal. Let's go ahead and hide the body. Uh, sorry, I'm tired. Doing this for a couple of days now. I'm, I'm really getting uh, <laughs> fed up. Oh, I got a lot of helpers here. If you can see the little green dots, those are dummies. Are actually helpers, so. Uh, and I try to model them off of ED in, their, in the ED model viewer. I'm not got all of them to work yet. I'm just trying to focus right now on the wheel rotation. Uh, moving forward back and left, right, or right, left. Okay, so first off, I have the wheels. Each wheel is its own wheel with a helper for each. Okay. Uh, the rear wheels in the ED viewer, the, the Humvee didn't have any helpers, at least for the 1045 I think, version with the uh, tow rocket or tow missile. So I have an axle here, which actually um, it's just there. It works. I have these these two actually turned together, so maybe that can be one of my issues. But the big issue I'm having is and this is my bounding box, by the way. Let's make the animation work. It's going to hide that. So I've got the basic principles down. All right. So this is front right helper. So let's go to animation and maybe some way my stuff set up. I got my pivots and everything set up, I think, correctly, but um, if you can see here, I got X locked. Maybe that could be one of the problems. I don't know. I just need your help here. I took off. I tried everything. Took off uh, rotation or position scale. But anywho, the big thing is motion. So I got the argument set up. Position axis is X uh, under rotation. I have two events. One that moves uh, wheels forward and back, and one moves them right and left. Let's go to the right and left first. Let's set active. All right. And go down here. I have I've followed the former advice. I've used auto key. I've, I've even keyed in every 25 frames. So we move right along the one plus 100, and move left minus 100. So that's I mean according to everything that's it should be right. Okay. So that for the most part works well. All right. Let's make eight active. This is rotation. All right, full full 360 forward, and we stop at zero, according to the argument list. So full 360 forward. Yeah, it's full back. All right, and zero is your endpoint. So okay, that looks good. Looks all yeah, that looks really good. It's working. No, it's not. All right, let's go and show you the rear. Same thing. Set active. Now the question I do have is when you go to ED model viewer, which ones do you keep active, which arguments, which ones do you not? It should automatically detect it when you call it up in game or in the model viewer manually. That's a question I have. I haven't got any answers or got any assistance with. I don't a lot of the information is uh people like to keep it close hold for some reason and uh don't know why. Just wish they put it out there and you know, and everyone says, Oh, it's fun just to learn. Yeah, it's fun to waste forty eight hours on some shit. It's not. Let's just get this shit done. You know, let's try to get some shit out there so we can get some, some good stuff going so we can uh, all benefit. All right. So I'm going to unhide all. Well, I don't know what. That's probably from the uh, keyframes. All right. Save it. Export to an EDM file. And I'm going to open up Viewer. And uh, we'll go from there. See you in a second. All right, guys, welcome back. Um, here's our uh, model Humvee uh, inside model viewer, ED model viewer. All right. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and start by going to argument view eight. Let's see what happens here. All right, front wheels move, and they, you see they only move about. That's maybe 90 degrees, if that. I mean, that's pretty. That's not what I set up in the game, uh, in the freaking 3ds Max. So that's not. 
Not what I wanted. The rear wheels aren't moving. So let's go to nine, which is left, right, right, left. All right, that's working okay. Not it's not going as far as I want it to go, but at least it's going in the general direction. When it goes right, when it goes to the deposit, it's supposed to go right. Uh, minus frames goes left. So at least it's this basic principle. Now let's go ahead and do something called enable uh, disable animations. Now it's going to show. Now we'll watch the wheels. Look at that. They're turning on the wrong axis. So like they're going like sideways, like uh, instead of going. Straight access to that they're they're bending they're going and um, if he if he if you see it see it should be doing that much it should just be left right so let me show the uh front helper Let's do something here. see how this looks so you see it's going it's yeah <sighs> frustrating I know but so that's working maybe I'm gonna put another I only thing I have a problem with is if you look at ED's model for Humvees they have three helpers per front wheel and every time the, the wheel turns left to right each helper moves with it so I don't know if they're all linked together you can only link one helper to the wheel itself you know at a time you can link helpers to each other but that's what I need help with, guys. I'm almost there. I got a bunch of vehicles in in, uh, in mind. Um, the hardest part for me is this part. So um, I get a lot of stuff to work, but this is the hardest part. So thanks.